Hello everyone, Happy New Year to you all. This is the most crucial year for SpaceX, but also a number of other merging space companies, Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, and Rocket Lab, to name few. SpaceX is hard at work, Elon Musk is pushing his vision, and might just meet his timetable for Starship and Crew Dragon. Elon Musk has taken personal snapshots of progress at Boca Chica SpaceX facility, where SpaceX crew is hard at work in assembling first components of suborbital test vehicle Starship SN1, formerly Mark III, that will test Starship design in a few months' time. Starship SN1 will be the first of the SpaceX test vehicles that will be used for suborbital tests that I expect will now start in March or early April 2020. The progress on Starship SN1 is remarkable, considering a few weeks ago there was little evidence of Starship SN1. Soon the structure will start to rise like a phoenix out of the ashes. SpaceX only recently delivered components for Starship SN1 using one of their own ships Discovery. The components were transferred from Cocoa facility due to SpaceX now relocating all its manufacturing and testing to Boca Chica where it can concentrate on re-establishing strong manufacturing and testing facilities. A SpaceX facility at Kennedy Space Center on Roberts Road is progressing, however it will be months before any major work on infrastructure there are complete, and at least 18 months before Roberts Road facility is ready to take testing and building starships, let alone launching orbital flights. For this reason, SpaceX facility at Boca Chica will take over all main operations for time being, the Cocoa facility, although offering us incredible insight into SpaceX development, will sadly be one down due to Virgin plans to build a new rail link in the area, preventing SpaceX from expanding the facility further or even testing any future Starship design. As SpaceX starts to expand its Boca Chica facility with new expanded facility Starship Mark III also gets to be renamed into SN1 Starship, SN starting as a Series 1 or Serial Number 1 Starship. The rename of Starship is intentional and has far more serious meaning than just a simple rename. What SpaceX is telling us, or Elon Musk is telling us, that SpaceX is quite serious in making sure everything before SN1 Starship was just a bit of a fun testing and no serious attempt to make flying craft. With SN1, things get far more serious. SpaceX will test the Starship and plans to utilize the Starship beyond just one single shot hop test. This Starship will be a fundamental starting block of SpaceX's future, future in which humanity becomes a multi-planetary species. As I've said earlier, SpaceX has started expanding its Boca Chica facility and in that spirit, SpaceX has started expanding its manufacturing base with that expansion. SpaceX is building a series of hangars in which all future Starships will be built, starting with Starship SN1 in January. Although the long-term plan was to build proper manufacturing facility at Boca Chica due to clearly bad weather conditions at Boca Chica, which can get a bit hard. However, Elon Musk did point out that welding for stainless steel, the prime material for the Starship fuselage, is much less sensitive to dust and debris than aluminium. Current plans according to figures printed right on the sprung structures. The initial building will measure approximately 45 meters wide, 77 meters long and 18 meters tall. Elon Musk did some interesting information that might have escaped many. SN1 Starship, currently under construction, will be the first of 20 Starships SpaceX plans to build in coming few years, with each new increment seeing improvements in design, performance and efficiency, culminating in SN20 Starship that will be the most efficient and most capable design. At present rate of Starship build, Starship SN20 will be built in around 2025, sufficient time for SpaceX to learn and perfect Starship design for future NASA manned missions. And finally, SpaceX unveiled their plans for Crew Dragon, manned flight proposed for early 2020. SpaceX will be the key player in NASA's crew program to replace its reliance on Russian Space Agency, which limits NASA's access to ISS, I fear. SpaceX has released latest Crew Dragon animation on its YouTube channel. And at the same time, Elon Musk revealed a tentative schedule for Crew Dragon's astronaut launch debut, 
known as Demo-2, short for Crew Dragon's second orbital demonstration mission. The launch could make SpaceX the first commercial company in history to send astronauts to low Earth orbit. This would also be the first private company to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station, or ISS, in history of US space program. If things go as planned over the next several months, that should kick off New Era, when NASA will routinely rely on SpaceX and Boeing to a lesser degree to ensure that US has continued presence in space. The International Space Station is currently the only continuously crewed outpost in space, a feat that started in October 31st, 2000, representing nearly two decades that humanity has had uninterrupted presence in space. ISS is supported by regular NASA space launches and Russian Soyuz launches that enable space agents to safely send astronauts to and from the space station. SpaceX Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner are nearly ready to pick up torch that NASA and the United States fumbled when Space Shuttle was prematurely cancelled in 2011. Over the last five years, SpaceX has been working tirelessly to design, build and test Crew Dragon, all in the name of ensuring that it will be one of the most reliable and capable human-rated spacecrafts ever flown once it begins taking astronauts to and from ISS. All the Crew Dragon's development has not been without its hurdles and detours, ranging from challenges with a spacecraft parachute recovery system to a catastrophic capsule explosion during a thruster testing in mid-2019, something my channel reported on. As a result, SpaceX has put efforts into optimizing and redesigning Crew Dragon's main subsystems to ensure that all work exactly as intended. Thankfully, all Crew Dragon's development hurdles have been occurred during testing specifically designed to reveal such problems, meaning no humans have been harmed. Over the course of the program, SpaceX has emphasized its priority on astronaut safety, a bit like Tesla with cars and its concerns with passenger safety. A serious accident with loss of human lives could have serious ramifications for SpaceX and could play into hand of the competition.